Autumn in Seattle, Washington, and University of Washington basketball fans looking on expectantly at this year's edition of the Huskies. And tonight they host the Pilots from Portland and the WCC to Alaska Airlines Arena here in Seattle, the World Vision Classic. Win the tip. And this is Gaddy coming into the lane. Gaddy wasn't screened up, got the rebound and laid it up and in. There's one of those points in the middle. Back, so you're not going to get an easy pass against them. Ross will drive and kick, and this is Gantt from mid range. Good anticipation inside. That was Wilcox with the deflection, and the Huskies with another steal. Well, I tell you, they've got long arms. These guys play the passing lane well. You're not going to get an easy pass against them. Here again, great move. Gaddy is looking, got them the layup. Terrence Ross, a terrific score with the crossover and then the setup for the mid-range jump shot. That is just so. Here's Dan again with that mid-range shot. NJ the rebound. This is where NJ really can improve, you know, on his footwork on the line and outside to Gaddy at the point. Drops it low to Gant. Faces up. One dribble and pumps in another jump shot. He loves that right elbow. Well, that's his area. And six Husky players have already scored. Kevin Bailey is in now for Portland. 6'5 freshman. He defends the ball, but Gant too strong with that left hand. Darnell Gant goes to the left block and shows a little work. And leading by eight, Desmond Simmons. Red shirt. They'll give them some athleticism up front. Runs the floor extremely well. Tireless worker, we're told. The string on the jumper on the left side. Forced out. Good defense terminates the dribble. Rogers on the weak side gives him help. Kemp says, uh uh, steps up and blocks the shot. Look at Kemp run the floor with Roten now. Makes the pass, drives, scoops, and scores. Going lefty all the way. Tony Roten. Yeah, he's got to give Kemp an assist on that. He could get by and, and put it up off the glass. That's his smart play. Ross again with the wicked crossover and again silky smooth a three-pointer this time for Terrence Ross who's lights out three for three. Eric Ravino says enough of this we need a timeout. Huskies on top 21-8 with 11-28 to play here in the first half. Well I tell you that defense makes a huge difference and you've got to see that right here. There's a penetration great block by Kemp. Now get the ball and run because you got numbers right there Kemp is running out forcing the defense to take a look at him opens the lane up beautiful nice play Huskies in command here up there misses two Portland sails the other way oh Douglas with the fake he did walk but Enjai I, I don't know if I'm more impressed <laughs> with Douglas or Enjai as Enjai was able to clear Douglas who was standing fully at 510 in the paint <laughs> uh, he just walked, but I tell you, that would have been a year of the week. Abdul Gaddy back in. Gant sets the high screen. They slide to Gaddy. He'll get a look at three. Why not? Well, that's good ball movement. Dmitrievich, he is on the sidelines now as Portland comes out of the timeout with a quick pop. Huskies the other way. And this is Wilcox. Locked and loaded from three out of the corner. Knocks it down. Kemp keeps it alive. Had people all over him. And Washington will take possession as a result. Lob up top, Roten from the weak side, bringing the rain <laughs> with a left hand jam. Uh, you know, that was great. A great play. They were able to read it coming down the court. It was set up beautifully. You know, right here, you're going to see it. Defensively, they get the ball. Now he's going to push it out. And that's where the Huskies can be so good in transition. They read the situation. Nice pass. So, you know, that, that's good because. Prior to that, the last three made field goals were all three pointers. You got to get something going to the basket. Timeout called on the floor with 541 left here in this first half. The timeout charge to the Portland Pilots. Again, another freshman looking to come out and pursue the ball. Wilcox strips, Roten ahead to Gaddy. Great look. Gaddy the one two, and he is fouled. This, this is where he's so smart, Kevin. You know, I mean, the Huskies, you know, they're 0 for 5 from the foul line, but they still have to push the ball. And right here, you see they get out on the transition break, and Gaddy takes it to the basket strong. He uses his body, lays it up off the glass. What a smart player, but he, he's a smart player. I said, I can really do that. <laughs> and he did indeed, guys. We have some shots of that boy. He brought down the house. The fans loved him yesterday. Thanks, George. 
Thanks for your service. Slay this guy for his drive. You know, he hasn't shown that or hasn't really looked like he was going to take a three-point shot. And what a great move to the basket. And you know, goes to the corner. Keep moving the ball, and you're going to find something wide open there. Pilots matching up out of the zone, but they've got to get out. One shot. And he drives and kicks. Great recognition. Ross has the hot hand, and Ross knocks down the three with three seconds left in the half. Rodgers will clear, gets off the shot at the buzzer, and that will end. One half complete in Seattle with the Huskies leading by 20, led by the hot hand of Terrence Ross. Well, I tell you, he's so smart. Now, right here, you're going to see Gaddy penetrates, pulls the man to him, knowing that Ross is on the wing. What a great other team hang around. Abdul Gaddy, 10 points for the Huskies. Terrence Ross, 13 to lead the way. And remember, Washington went on an 11-2 run to end the first half. Nice follow by Gant, tips it up and in on the middle. Gaddy with vision, enters it to Aziz Enjai. Beautiful move, Lenny. How about that? Live, they'll get some turnovers, and then they'll play the transition game. Now there's C.J. Wilcox now in the act on a catch-and-shoot jump shot. The rest of his teammates. Ross off the mark, leading to the long rebound. Far the other way, had it stripped. Good recovery by Ross. He's got a man ahead. It's Roten. Climbs into the air, leaves it for Ross, and maneuvers to the rim for the dunk. Now, nice looking play, but you got to leave the ball alone after the dunk. You can't slap it away. I mean, right here is a great steal. They get out. He leaves the pass there for his teammate to come in, and then he slaps the ball away. Can't do that. All right, Lenny, here's Roten now handling the ball at point with Wilcox, Njai, and Gant and Ross out there. Nice entry. Njai laid it in. Was that Wilcox with the feet? And he, he's showing you that he can do a lot of things out there on the court, which he has since the beginning of the season. Njai erases the shot. Wilcox sets up Gant, and he powers it down with two hands. Handling into front court. Roden with the left hand scoop feed inside the reverse off the window. What a look by Roden and the finish by the Marina along with Lenny Wilkins, Kevin Calabro on hand, Washington leading Portland 57 29. And the Huskies moving the ball beautifully, Lenny. Well, they're not settling for jump shots or outside shots. You see a great bounce pass into Njai where he turns and makes a strong move to the basket. Next time they come down, they, they pass it out. Great defense, fast break. Gant puts it away with a dunk. And now here, what a great look away pass to Jai also. And he gets it up on the reverse side of the basket. Take another look at that. I mean, that's a great pass there. He caught everybody by surprise. And Jai made the great move under the basket. By Douglas to collect. <laughs> Douglas with nine leads to Portland Pilots in scoring. Wilcox in traffic. Finds Jai rolling to the bucket to lay it in. His sophomore from Cerritos, California. A nice little young player, I tell you. You know, he's got a lot of confidence. He gets to the basket pretty good. Wilcox adjusts in midair and. Here's Terrence Ross. Don't let my ball in the rim. <laughs> Kevin Bailey, hand up. Kevin Bailey, hands down at his side. Look out. And Simmons with a rebound. Ross has a silky smooth delivery, doesn't he? Run in the wing and knocks down another one. Running. Well, that's great. Pac-12 conference play comes around. Here's Rogers firing missile. Men going down. Wilcox tumbles to the floor. Boyning is in the lineup. Outside, Ross waiting for three. There he is, Terrence Ross. The sophomore with it. The freshman from Leverkusen, Germany. Out on the point, this is Wilcox airborne, and he knocks down the gym. Feel it now. I mean, and they're making good passes, too, and getting good looks at the basket. And when you get good looks, your confidence just soars. 27-point lead for the Huskies. Five and a half minutes to go in the ballgame. Washington shooting 54%. 10 of 17 from three. And they force the Pilots into a turnover. Roten ahead to Gaddy. Eases it up and in. Uh, what a pass. And what great hands by Gaddy. Last play. Right here, you see Roten goes down. He makes the pass. Gaddy catches it. Great hands. Lays it in right off the glass. I mean, and, and, and he makes it look easy. That's yep. not easy to do. Portland will be in the moment. Breunig. 
Gaddy and Jai. Roten and Wilcox on the deck for Washington. Barker defends the post for the Pilots. Gaddy from three, counted, and Washington. Held the guy out by reaching, but kept the hand straight up to make him make a shot over you. And there's a nice move. <laughs> Close to the basket. Played well, his teammates played well. And of course, uh, you know, Mitrovic, uh, the Huskies played great defense on him. They didn't give him many open opportunities. So I, I credit the Huskies defense with a, a big reason in keeping Mitrovic in control. Brendan Shearer at the line. They know him as the uh, the human victory formation. You see him. It's over. 6'8", 255 out of Monroe. They are all playing and making money playing basketball over in Europe. Wigner, the left-hander, banked it in. Washington leading here comfortably by 30 with 40 seconds left. Roten goes to work. Drives and misses and follows it up and in. Tony Roten with a beautiful follow. Tony now, Portland goes 2-1, and one, and Washington has won the World Vision Basketball Classic here at Alaska Airlines Arena in Seattle. 30-point win for Washington, 93-63, the final. Lorenzo Romar is 198th coaching victory here in Washington in his 300th regular season game that he has coached now in his 10th year. And boy, did he get some scoring tonight from the fellows. 55% shooting, Lenny. Six Huskies figure in double figures. I tell you, that, that's nice to see. I mean, great balance on your team. Ross, 24, Wilcox, 17, Gaddy, 15, Jai, 11, you know, uh, Gant, 10, and Roten, 11. Young, young star to come. Defensively, I thought Washington did a terrific job. There were a few small laps.